Hi all, this is Sachin, Sachin VC. So today we are going to discuss on the topic Reference Plane versus Roughness Line. So since you are working on a beam field, you have to know like what is the main difference between these two. So first we can start with the definition. Uh, reference Plane is a two-dimensional surface like a floor plan to draw the 2D lines. That's a proper definition of Reference Plane. So coming to the Reference Line, Reference Line allow you to place a line on a to specify the location to mark the important values. This is the definition for roughness line. So we can move to the second main point. A roughness line has two points, but coming to the reference point, there is no end points. It is an infinite line. So I will open the rivet points. Mm, let me open one family. I am going with metric generic model. Open. So once you open a floor plan, you can see the two reference plane over here. These are reference planes. In, ge in generic template, two reference plane will be there. And if you want to draw one reference line, you have to go to create tab. Under create tab, you can find the reference line. So I can draw here. So if you are uh, clicking on the reference line, you can see the two dots. That means it is having a specific endpoint, specific starting and ending point. So coming to the reference plane, uh, the endpoints are not a solid one. There is no limit. It's an infinite length. Okay. So coming to the third point, can be drawn in family, can be drawn in both family as well as project. So this is the family tab, family file I opened. In that one, we can draw both reference line as well as reference plane. So coming to project, I will open one project. I will open one template project. In project under architecture tab, we can draw the reference plane. But there is no option to draw the reference line in project. That is a main difference. I will. You can see uh, if it is a reference line. Only we can only draw in the family file. In the case of reference plane, we can draw in both family as well as project. And third point is, uh, the regarding the line type, in reference plane is a dashed line, but the reference line is a solid one. You can see here, it's a solid line. Coming to the reference plane, it's a dashed one. And go to the 3D. And reference line is visible in both 3D view as well as floor plan. But coming to reference plane, it is only visible in, it's not visible in 3D views. You can't able to see the reference line over here. Unless if you need to show means you have to go here, show. Just we need to click show here. Then only you can see the reference plane. Okay. Then the next point. It can be used for angle constraint can be used for but coming to the reference plane that we can use but it's not recommended so better to use the rough, uh, reference line as a angle constraint uh, so if you want to draw one reference line just go to the create tab just draw one architecture line just pick from center and you can draw and i'm clicking the temporary dimension creating a parameter as ankle so if you are clicking here you can change the values 60 something like that so a highly recommended uh, for angle constraint is reference line only and the fourth point <coughs> fourth point is <coughs> center of the family we can't able to define while you are working on a reference line but if you are working on a reference plane, we can we can assign the center of the family. That is the fourth point. And coming to the fifth point, it contains six work plane itself. So if you are checking on a 3D view, you can see for the reference line, you can see six planes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six planes you can see. But coming to reference plane, you can see only one plane here. So that is a 2D line. 
2D plan. And that is the uh, few common difference between roughness line and roughness plane. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have anything to add on me, please let me know in the comment box. And thank you.